tonight we check out the 1941 Chevy ha, ha, ha. on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, everybody. My name is Trevor Celescu, and I'm that crazy guy that owns Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And tonight we have a special video. It is our unboxing of the Testers. 1941 Chevy. Now this car is built up as a hot rod and it's a die cast, so it's heavy, man. But anyway, let's go down and see what's in the box. Flames, flames, flames. As we open up our 1941 Chevy kit by Testers. Now this is a die cast car that I picked up in 124 scale. Ooh, you can hear the big thump of the metal. Now let's move that there. And the first thing we're going to start off with here are the instructions, which have got a pretty big bend in them. And there it is. Lots of paper, but just a short little picture description of the engine going together. This looks to be a Chevy V8, which was not typical of this car. The real car came with a straight eight. But of course, this has been turned into a hot rod. So, there we go. All the parts are pretty basic on here, for instructions, I should say. It does say, <clears throat> it does say on the box that this model kit should take you about three hours to assemble. I suppose if you use acrylic paints and wanted to add paint details, it wouldn't be too, too long. Okay, now I'll just carefully pull this out. And move this over here. Huh. Looks like I found some instructions I put in the box for a Volkswagen Beetle by Mastio. Another die cast I had. Interesting make these little notes to myself that don't mean anything. Okay, so let's start here. This is our interior pan, and it comes with uh, some painted bits from the factory. So these would be your floor mats here. The rubber piece of your floor mat so that your feet don't wear through the carpet. These are the side pieces that would go into the back that uh, wrap around the rear door and the seats. There's the driver's seat, or the passenger seat, one of the two. And they've put this wash in there to give it sort of a, a pleated leather look. Here's the back seat with a little package shelf before they go to the rear window. And then they've pre-painted the inner door panels with all the detail. That nice dashboard there. And then we get to the glass, which has the chrome around the windshields. And then I do believe I taped these screws in here so they wouldn't lose them. Those are the body mounting screws. Oh wow. This could be tricky. Yep, I see a screw sitting there. So here we have these wheels. These are beautiful. The tires are rubbery, like actual rubber. And of course the wheels have that kind of groove similar to how the slot car wheels work. And you can see the raised lettering, Radial TA by BF Goodrich. I always liked the 70s Radial TA. It had a white wall that went all the way around except for where it says TA. I don't know if you guys remember those. Those are going quite back to like 1976 type of era. Ooh. Okay. These are the frame and undercarriage pieces as well as the steering wheel. All painted in black or possibly molded in black. Ooh. 
<laughs> okay, then we've got some chrome here, the front bumper, some door handles and headlights, as well as hood ornament things. There's a lot of chrome in this kit, considering. There's valve covers and air cleaner, including an alternator. And they've already been stained somewhat, so you can pick out the detail. There's the Chevy grill, and it's actually got the correct black wash in it from the factory. And the tail lights already painted with red lights in it. Yeah, I could see where this would take exactly three hours to finish. There's our windows. Side windows got some silver trim around them. You also get this pre-wired distributor, which is pretty nice. These are all together. The engine painted in red, exhaust pipes underneath, oil pan. They even have the bluing on the uh, exhaust pipes. This is what happens if your manifold is too hot. It actually burns your chrome like that in real life. So obviously this hot rod is burnt off the chrome. And there is the metal die cast body, hinged hood, and the undercarriage. See the nice detail on there. And you painted um, little uh, running boards. <laughs> Almost forgot what they were called. Now this is 1941, so Chevy and GM were actually some of the first cars to start taking the running boards off the outside of the car and to start to cover them over to make a solid car body. So if you'd open the door, there's your running boards inside. And getting back to the body here, you can see these nice metal hinges they have. So you can open up your doors and your hood. And then these little holes here are drilled. I don't believe they are um, got the screw in them, but that's where your screws would go. Uh, what I mean to say is they don't have threads in them for the screws. But yeah, quite a nice looking car. And like I said, all pre-painted, so we should be able to do this in three hours. Nice and neat. And that concludes our look at the Testers 1941 Chevy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box, where we got to take a look at the 1941 Chevy kit from Testers. And if you would like to see some of the other cars that I've reviewed in this series, please do not hesitate to click here. And then you can click here and here and see three different videos. And then after that, you can subscribe to us right here because we always like new subscribers. So until next time, always remember to put your foot on the clutch before you put it into gear. And we will see you soon.